Oh. Oh. Holy shit! What the hell was that? Howdy, folks. How the hell are you? Welcome back to the Twitch channel. Yes, it has been down for a month because I had to go away for some work reasons, but we're back. All right, and as I said before, if you missed this video live, it will be up on my YouTube channel on Saturday in an edited format, just so you know you don't have to watch me running around looking stupid, not knowing what to do, and other stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, breaking and entering seems to be our specialty. Don't worry, ma'am, slash sir. I am a detective. I am completely within my legal boundaries to break into your I pray uh, that Cole office. Is really here and alive. I mean, what are we gonna do if he's dead? Like, honestly, what are we gonna do if he is dead? Oh, investigate. Can I just pull it open. Perfect. Diary of the pastor's wife, volume one. The diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife, her husband John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. Are they talking about the Roanoke? Diary. Like the colonial town that just miraculously disappeared? Is that what's going on right now? Well, that's freaking locked. What the hell? I mean, is this door locked? Uh, what is behind door number three? Right. Enough time wasted. I just chose the wrong door. Holden needs me. I must find her. Those guys gonna try to murderate me? I hope not. How's it going, Hunter? Ten through one. Long time no see. Just like me in this game, and I don't remember any of this. I do remember this was a level. I think this is where we were talking to that nurse that was getting abused by her manager or whatever, right? She had a conundrum, like a mental breakdown of some shit. I'm assuming I can just walk. Oh, I cannot walk freely. I cannot walk freely. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, that's how I crouch. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to crouch. Damn. How am I supposed to get past those two Canucks? Canucks. Like the Canadian hockey team. No, nobody watches the NHL anymore. I guess you don't I guess you have a reason. If I were to wander where I wonder, where would I wander my wonderful self to? Because um, at this current point in time, every everything is lost. Oh no. shit, what the hell is that? My God, what, what, what the is hell? happening to me? Where am I at? Am I in the spirit world? Why are all these games taking place in the spirit world? I'm getting tired of it. It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What the hell? Where did I get this lantern? Can I just walk through whatever I feel like? Am I a ghost? Am I actually dead? Are there worms and other sorts of bugs feeding on my corpse right now in a... inside of a six foot deep grave? What, what is going on here? Something has changed, but what? I'm like in another dimension. And that's like the safety thing so that Davy Jones' brother-in-law can't come get us, right? Is that a thing still? I mean, he could totally hop over this and kick my ass if that was really what he was wanting to do. Crikey. Um. Just keep going through the mist, I suppose. Gotta lead me somewhere, right? 
So like an insight like there is in the medium. Did I just forget how to do it? Oh, there it is. Uo Mo Delinquent. This pseudo-scientific work by Cesare Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his criminal predispositions. The seriousness of this study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Like, how deceitful are you talking? Like, you know, fooling the IRS on your taxes level deceit or having a secret double life where you've got a whole other family that you visit once or twice a week while you're telling your other family that you're just going out to for you know a couple weeks on work and then suddenly your wife finds out that you got another wife in another state and then you find yourself in a conundrum in this gigantic love triangle that ultimately ends on you on an episode of deadly women or cold case files because you couldn't keep it in your in your britches and you just had to have two wives Is that the kind of level of deceit we're talking here Also, what am I looking for? Am I looking for Dr. Folden? Because he's not here. Dr. Colden, whatever his name is. The doctor kissed my ass for all I care. I, tr I, I don't know what to do. Any ideas? Any ideas at all? My brain is broken. And I guess I could drop a deuce real quick. Maybe that'll lighten the load and give me some energy that I could use to do some detecting. Medicine and Secret Sciences. Sciences. This very interesting book aimed at a wide public demonstrates how non-recognized sciences have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother's secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of this century. Like some of those things have a legit scientific reason and then others are just because people didn't know anything about science and they thought well, it would be a good idea if you just eat all this cinnamon, it'll cure your hiccups. I don't, I don't know if that's an actual cure or not, but I, I vaguely remember something with hiccups. Maybe it was a spoonful of honey. Maybe that was coughing. I, I I don't really know. I'm not a grandmother. Don't judge me like I am one. That's for grandma to know. Oh, ooh, this is a special lantern. This one shows me where secrets are. Why didn't I know this in the first place? Oh, look at that. Have I seen this symbol? Where have you seen that symbol? Awaken what did I just... And free me. What? Free you from what? I'm not entirely sure if I want to free you. You sound kind of spooky. Uh, okay, I guess I gotta go. Oh, oh, okay. What the hell? Why is everything so dark? Oh, hello? Holy shit, what the hell was that? Oh my gosh! Oh! You gosh! It's the, the rambler, the, the shambler, the, the, the hash bringing, the, the, the sash slinging, the, the, the crash rigging, the, whatever the hell he is. Holy crap! No! 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 You don't get to- you don't get to have me! I am my own man! Look at this, I've got a light and I'm not afraid to use it! What the hell? What am I supposed to be zooming on? No! No! Run! Run! Okay, okay, get get the new lantern. Get the new powerful lantern with with a full with a full blast of Uh-oh. Is my mythical lantern out? Am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? 
Help me out here! Point me in any direction, any direction! As long as it's not death! Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh no! No! You cannot have a piece of this! This is for me and me alone! Okay! Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh crap. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. Okay, hide right here. Hide right here. This is the only light I can find. Okay, so that finds me whenever I run out of light. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Roger that. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? Does anybody have an idea? Oh, look, I'm shining it! I'm shining it! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, first off, I gotta switch out the stupid lights. You know what? I'm gonna run around with this light. I, I feel like maybe this light is the answer that I'm missing. Ah, I opened another door. I can't go this way. Um, where can, where, where can I go? Can I go somewhere else? I just need to open that door. To get in there. Is that how this works? If that's how this works, I'm gonna be very irritated. Okay. Aha! Sort of. That that that's that still didn't help me a whole a whole hell of a lot. Okay, 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 okay. Uh uh is there anything else I'm missing? Do you see any symbols? Uh, I for one don't see shit. It should not be this stupid and complicated. It's Give me a waypoint or something for crying out loud. I've searched like everywhere, every inch of this damn place. Except for that right there, apparently. Okay, wow. Uh, hello. I found the doorway that I have been wandering around searching for for 20 minutes. That's what we had to do. And here's the symbol that's going to open up the other way. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. I ain't seen a... I haven't seen a scenario so perfect. I'm such a perfectionist. Okay, uh, what is this way? Um. Okay. That's all it took. That was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Until I run out of... Oh, no! No, 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 I'm going to run out. I'm gonna run out. No, 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 no! Okay, 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 okay. Grab this. Do some more searching. So I gotta open up parts of this place in both dimensions. So this looks like a warp wall. Can I get there through the kitchen? No. That is where the waypoint told me to go. Try this again. I got a fully charged lantern. See, it's still telling me to go this way, but I can't actually go this way. So, what the heck am I supposed to do? Okay, so I go this way, and then I go through this wall. Hey, Shambler! 
How about you kiss my ass? Yeah, you like that light, don't you, big boy? Don't you, big fella? You're an ugly son buck. Are you mom? You're you're so ugly. Your mama didn't even love you. And a mama will love anything. This. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. You are confronting powers that surpass you. How you figure? Why are you in my head? Aren't you like the guy that owned the pawn shop that I broke into earlier? Why would I be getting premonitions from you of all people? I figured it'd be much more likely that Davy Jones makes an appearance. in all of his tentacled up glory. I mean, you can make a whole lot of dirty movies featuring that man. Okay, I gotta find each symbol to open it up, and then I gotta memorize which way to go with the lantern. And I gotta open up a door each time, basically. That's the gist of what I'm understanding. So now I gotta open this door and then come back with the the green lantern not the Ryan Reynolds version the tiny little handheld one I was holding I do that and I come back hopefully just hopefully we will be able to get the hell out of this puzzle oh my gosh I'd rather get my giblets ate off by a by the damn shambler six times in a row than go through this damn puzzle again. Which was not explained very well. If you're gonna do a puzzle and you OH SHIT! No, no, I did not mean it when I said brother game by you! I was just kidding! I was just kidding! I don't like you! Your mama don't like you! Your daddy don't like you! And your grandma don't like you neither! And now I don't know where I'm going! Because I accidentally just dropped the lantern. Okay, okay. Over here. There it is, there it is, there it is. The last symbol. The monster energy symbol. The one that gets us the hell out of here. It looks like things are back to normal. Yeah, we're ba we basically just summoned Kyle to punch our way through the drywall for us. That's all we did. Alright, calm down. Calm down. Brohemoth, Mr. Detective Man. I don't even remember your name. What was my detective name? Sebastian? No, that was... That was the evil within. Uh, well, that's a lot of tomato soup. Hey! Did you know you dropped a, a metric buttload of spaghetti sauce all over the hallway? Don't you pay janitors around this joint to clean it up? That's unsanitary! What's up with the creepy music? Like a never-ending hall sequence? What's going on? It never ends. I was just beginning to wonder that. Hello? Damnation. That's... That's me. Whoa! Oh, shit. I'm in... I'm in the loony bin! Oh, God! It's closing in on me! Oh, no. Oh, no. Please tell me I'm not claustrophobic. Please tell me I'm not claustrophobic! I don't like small spaces! I don't even like... It, it, I have been afraid of enclosed spaces ever since I was born, all right? I came out the womb and I was like, I spent nine months curled up in the fetal position, unable to move, where it has scarred me for life. I don't like to have my mobility taken away from me. Pierce, I found her. You I teleported. Know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. What about it you? It's already too late for me. How? Colden. What's going on? Yeah, Colden. Was it a hallucination. 
Answer me. Why am I hallucinating? Am I actually in the loony bin and this is all in my nugget? Or is he actually Please doing tests on Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. What? Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Oh my gosh, she's dead. Like, she's dead dead. Like, she's nine months, you know, past dead. Oh my gosh, she's been dead a minute. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! Choke what him did out. you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Yeah, beat his ass! I ain't afraid to beat no man's ass! I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friend. You should envy her. Why is that? Murder! You got some explaining to do. Must stop! I'm about to dome you, brother! Unless you're already dead. I mean, I'm not a police officer. What the hell? I thought you were dead. Colden? What in the zombie land shit is this? What the hell? She was dead. Look at that, she is dead. She has no pulse. Right? I can smack her across the face and she can't feel it anymore. Her soul has left her body. Or she's playing patty cake with Jesus right now. What the hell? Where'd the old man go? I got some unfinished business with him. Something ain't right about this whole scenario. I'm like... 100% sure that I'm, I, I am fairly confident this is happening in my head right now. Parts of it anyway. It might The whole thing might not be there. I might be having a psychotic episode where part of the real world's there and part of the not so real world's there, but something's wrong. Is that me? That better not be. I ain't in the demon summoning business. I'm in the sending the, the demons back to hell business. Oh shit, that was looking back at me now. That painting was not doing that the first time. Who spilled the spaghetti sauce? Whose body parts were those? We're just gonna walk past the fact that there was a hand and arm and a foot laying there, but no damn body. We're just gonna overlook that, detective. What in God's name? That's a good question. What is? Who is this? Is that Sarah Hawkins? I thought you were dead. Are you a ghost? Oh, I thought he was gonna bring out some alcohol to get her to talk and I'd be like, well shit, after a nip, I'd probably uh, be speaking too. can speak she said something kind of kind of like what is this but I didn't catch it <laughs> what are you doing here you don't look all that crazy he gave him the gold and I the azure I don't see him very often anymore the green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I what? Here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. 
Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. Violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. What are my options? What is that? I can speak in a different language. Who? I'm not a psychology expert. I'm an eloquent professional. Let's just speak the gibberish. All right. This looks, this looks like I'm speaking Atlantean. Do I get a glowing crystal and get to ride flying rock mobiles that look like fishies? I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. Like what? All right, come with me. He will know. He will find us. Well, I don't One give a shit. Hurry. Listen. I've seen you before. Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Listen, you don't know how many times as a detective I've said those very studio. words to women. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. We're not going to ask why she was painting you? The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. There ain't no men in white anywhere. Look. Nobody out here. What the? Oh, no. She disappeared. Where did she go? She she literally disappeared. It was in Just your studio. Poof. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Are we honestly gonna act like that's not creepy that she just miraculously starts painting you out of nowhere? You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. I tried to follow you and you went to the corner right there. I'm waiting. Lead the way, darling. What the? Oh no. Oh my gosh, she can teleport. I think I just gotta follow her? Is that a thing? I swear if you ditch me. How did you do that so fast? Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. Let's blow it up! I'm not moving until the wrong is set right. All right. Damn it. As you wish, my lady. We'll end up blowing this place sky high. Listen, Splosions is my middle name. I mean, it's actually not my middle name. My, my name is actually Edward Leslie Pierce, but I don't like to tell people my middle name is Leslie and Splosions sounds so much better. What do we need? Do we need a spanner? I'd be better off finding a tool. Do we need a ranch? Where are we gonna find a Perfect. Oh, well, I found a fire poker. Can I use that as a weapon first? What is the green All juice? Right. That should do it. Let's move. Who's gonna act like that's not a Oh, shit. It's her husband. I'm your puppet no more, you bastard. Oh, bro. You're my wife. You look my like you just got off the set of Pirates of the Caribbean Triple X. You look like Davy Jones in that. You look like Davy Jones in that guy from the Goonies. Like, hey, you guys had a. Baby! Don't get between me and my wife. Ow. 
Okay, dude, fine. You can have her. I, you know what? She's fi fine. Fine. Listen, you guys need to work some shit out. You go right ahead. I ain't a marriage counselor. I'm a detective. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Uh, except for Edward Leslie Pierce, who's beating your ass right now. How dare you? Oh. Oh my gosh! Somebody get this man a WWE contract! He's the best thing that happened since the big show! No. Why should I let you take out. her away when I could snap your neck? Cause I can beat your ass! You won't kill me? You have no future with it? You are not- You, you can't protect her anymore. He was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. Well, not good enough for me. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. Obviously but not, her brother. her identity, her power is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Try me, I've seen some crazy shit the last couple days. If I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am. No matter, she's a woman and you're a man, which means she gets preferential treatment when it comes to saving skills, because at the end of the day, I don't want to be kissing on you, I want to be kissing on her. She needs help. <laughs> No. Okay, fine. Choke me to death. I like it. Sarah I'm into it. Has been in the presence of the myth for too long. I am so you. She were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Don't you run the cult? Then we get rid of its members. Out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. No. She will finally surrender one. to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! I don't think no so, Bucko. One can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. I got one question for you. Do you feel death? Because I'm about to take out my pistol and put it through you. Oh my gosh! She just jabbed that through your necticles, brother! You look like such a bitch. No! You get brownie points for being a badass. But you're still gonna die like the bitch you are! Damn, what did I just put through his- Oh, where did I get an axe? Did I just pull that out of my axe? Well, he ain't pulling it out of his! Why didn't I use that to begin with? I mean, after this, I'm definitely carrying a damn pocket axe from now on. Holy crap. Never leave the, ha never leave the house without it. Stay strapped or get clapped. Holy crikey! Is he dead, dead, or is he? No parent almost dead. Marry their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt, will never go away. Would you murder like your kid? I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. You can't, because he's dead. 
Can't bring dead people back to life. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Hmm. Things All this is because of painting? What am I to you? Oh, this is showing us how, he, how it happened. I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Carl. You're not going anywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Do something, little buddy. Save your mama! Kick him in the nards! You deserve that! Stop, drop, and roll, homie! Stop, drop, and roll! Where did she go? Oh. The caretaker had to choose. He could only save one. And he saved the first one he's seen. Now it makes more sense. I can understand why he's messed up it's in the head now. I mean, it's kind of okay and kind of not okay. Like, she didn't technically kill her son. She, like, may have accidentally murdered him. But still, that's got to stay with you, right? What beautiful <laughs> teeth you have. Dude, why do we keep dreaming about cephalopods? Bruh. You need to see a psychiatrist if you're having dreams about cephalopods. All right. There are specific fantasy websites out there, and that's the details we're going to get that specialize in stuff similar to cephalopods. And I'm kind of picking up the vibes that you might be into them there, Edward Lillian Pierce. But you, you need to cut it out. All right? It's a little gross. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. I, mean, I was right up there. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? I'm asking this your is permission. too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You're right. He does have a striking resemblance to myself. I did not notice that until you mentioned it, but you are 110% correct. Hey, do, do you happen to know why he looks exactly like me? Like, was Mama on this island on a vacation without Daddy and something happened that I need to know about? You seem... Different. You could tell me if yes. my mama was a hoe. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I mean, I you look good. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. Well, don't I worry, baby. I'll be calling you. I escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Man, here I was thinking I'd finally found me a woman I could settle down with. All right, here she is turning me down after I saved your life, helped you murder your husband. The least you could do is move in with me in Boston and start a new life together. Is this because you're still got the hots for the caretaker? Is that what this is? Because I can make him disappear. I'm a detective. What? I know how to hide a body. 
Because I'm used to finding bodies. I know where nobody will look for it. Yeah. I sure as hell do. So we got us a conundrum here, baby. <sighs> what are we going to do going forward? Since you're turning me down. You've been friends for a long time. Yeah, you hiding Drake. each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? Are I must him? find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I yes. owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. Yep. I know what I have done. Try to fabricate evidence. Until the creature is sent back to its dimension. I'm fairly confident I can do that. And let me tell you to let me tell you let me tell it to you in Atlantean. That's how confident I am. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. No, you're not going what? nowhere. You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. What about protecting me and my sexy square jaw good looks? Is that not a thing? Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like me? I mean, come on. You were painting pictures of me? They may or may not have been dirty in nature. Who knows? I certainly don't. But I certainly see a lot of pictures of me. And of your husband. But we're not going to start that conversation. All right. Hey, you. Buddy. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? No, she was probably lying. Once a liar, always a liar. Oh, oh let's look what here. What kind of ritual was she preparing? She's obviously preparing to summon the Shambler. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? A painting of something was. Quiet. What's up with the VCR static? I do not like Mrs. This. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. You just read from the Book of the Dead like it's completely normal. You know, like she probably messed up the damn words. All right, let's be honest. How did she survive her encounter with the Shadow? That is another good question. Did, did she have she the react? dagger? Was she afraid? Uh, maybe? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Okay, so why'd he try to kill her then? He was so keen on protecting her. Why was he trying to martyrlate her? Seems just a tad bit suspicious, don't you think? Can't just be me. Uh, why is that lantern? Okay, well, uh, I guess we're just gonna walk around with the lantern. Uh, where did Algernon or whatever the hell his name is say he was gonna be? Upstairs, was it? Yeah, right there. There you are, Algy. No, no, no. That's Officer Bradley. Bradley. Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. Her homies. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? A uh, bit. She dead. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? 
She was getting I'm not tested sure on. What happened? But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You, you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. What if I smack this book I'm upside sorry. your head? Put some sense into Truly. you. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. Remember when we say, had that? Dears? Are you with me? Of course. Fuller has committed too many atrocities. He carried out his yeah. experiments on Sarah, on me, and now he has killed Dr. Colden. We'll pay he him must back. Die. I agree. He will suffer the fate he deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. Put a bullet He's in that alone. backside. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end to their schemes. If you say so. But I'm only interested in Fuller. How about we pop we a cap in each one of his cheeks? For those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a genius. I take care of my homies. And my homies take care of me. I do not know where this Algernon fella went. Said he was gonna be in the office, but he wasn't in the office, because I went in the office already. Or, no, that's the office down here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, there's this house is so big! Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for uh? her, not you. Okay, I, I don't, don't like care you either. why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Do you too speak Atlantean? What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the uh, definitive duh. book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. So if it's a fake, maybe that's why all the rituals went wrong, because it's not the real ritual. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. We must kill the Shambler, but first, where did you get the dagger? The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean? you mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution i got one it must never come back i got one all right hand grenade i pulled the pin 
right? Twist, pull. I'm holding the spoon. Still connected. I walk up to the shambler. I give it a prostate exam. All right? And then I release said hand grenade. And I pull my hand back out and run like hell. And he go boom. And he die. So all I need is a hand grenade. I'll do the rest. I am a doctor after all. I have delivered multiple babies. I have done a chest cavity exam of a headless corpse. I'm a certified doctor doing certified doctor things. So all I need from you, sir, is get in touch with the uh, with that Sterling Fox down at the bar named uh Cat Baker. And uh, get me a hand grenade, and then I'll do what needs to be done. Get her done. Get the killing over with. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature. That's my idea, though, for real. I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. Hey, take my I idea. think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one what? of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. No. What does it look like? No. It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief, Charles, has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. What are you insinuating? Are you insinuating that I would be murdering it? Or hiding it? Uh, am I, I'm looking for a bust of Charles Hawkins. Aha, find the bust. Probably in the house, right? No, oh, not that one. Where have I seen a bust of Charles Hawkins? I don't need the lantern! It's bright out! Thank you. I thought it was a good idea, too. Don't know why the, uh... Dr. Drake, or whatever you want to call him, don't know why Drake thought it was a bad idea. I thought it would have worked out perfectly. All right, okay, let's see. That's a, that's a bust. That's a bust. Rich people have so many busts of everything. No, I need one of Charles with like a samurai ponytail. Some badass battle scars. Right, and I do not remember. No. Hmm. If I was a rich person who was obsessed with the occult, where would I hide a ritual medallion? Where would I hide a ritual medallion? Right there next to the occult symbol. Haha! -ha! Yes, exactly! See, we're on the same page here. I knew it was up where the, uh... Uh... The, say, the little symbol on the floor was. I knew it was there, or somewhere around there. But now I gotta figure out where... The skull is. Obviously, it looks like it's on a desk with a, paint, with a painting. 
where I know I've seen that somewhere but where was it was it in the attic up here maybe Um, not in the attic. Where did I see this? Back in the hallway. We're at in the hallway. Was that over there by the bookshelves? On the uh, veranda over here? That right there. Haha, -ha, yeah, it is. Look at that. Teamwork makes the dream work. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Drake's about to drop a new rap single with this bad boy. What incantation was that? How many of these points do I have? 29? Okay, let's do... I'm just gonna be a psychologist all of a sudden. Maxed it out. Okay, what else? I maxed out eloquence. Okay, I don't... I... I... Uh... Yes. Aha! Okay. Uh, so... What do I, oh, I gotta show the amulet to Drake. Okay, that makes sense. Be like, dude, you know that thing you've been looking for for like, you know, a whole day? I found it in like five minutes, bro. Like, oh, I went the wrong way. Like, maybe you should uh, ask me in the first place, you know, being a detective and all, to go find something. Kinda like it's my job. Yo, bro, found your uh, amulet. It's you again. Talk to me like that again, I'm gonna smack you upside the head. I should leave. After I smack you upside the head, I'll, I'll, I'll hit a man with glasses. I don't care if you're wearing glasses, I'll still hit you. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. Should ask me I sooner, must brother. Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. What does she need to know for? I mean, I did just take it from her house, so I guess technically I should probably inform her so that it's not considered stealing. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to summon the so devil. terrible. You convinced yourself that you had to risk so much. I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Uh, who's Sullivan? Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Hey, Chief. How's it going? Wouldn't mind if I bummed a cigarette off of you, would you? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Good things, I'd imagine. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. No, no, not at all. It just happens nice to follow job, me. Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Oh, he's a big Witnesses old boy. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? Something tells me he's in on it. I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. Oh, I will. Tell them all about how you've been doing dirty things. We base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. How about I give him a testimony of you being a dirty cop on the payroll? You bet I will. Yeah. Then see how... How fast you want to take me to see the judge after I'm singing like a canary about all the dirty things you've been doing. I 
nice police station. It's really well lit. What you got, sir? You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Heard a lot about All you too, about Mr. West. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark World. I hear about some felonies with your name on them. Property, twice, aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Well then. You're in no position to lecture, lecture me. Let me tell you about all the, the evil shit you've been doing. With all the liquor that is openly on sale in the middle of prohibition, do you really want me to believe that you're enforcing the law? Enough of that. You're not going to tell me how to do my job. Somebody should. I would like to point out that it is you, not me, who is behind bars. <laughs> At the moment. There are things going on right now that are so much more serious than what you accuse me of. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Uh, you got a cult that's doing cultish things and sacrificing people and trying to hunt down Sarah Hawkins, who isn't dead like you previously thought with your good police work. To start. The fire at the Hawkins mansion is just a tree hiding the forest. You contented yourself with the so-called proof that was given to you without asking yourself any other questions. It may seem odd, but unlike you, we base our investigations on facts, not on vague theories. And despite all that, you fail to see the truth. <laughs> Go figure. The only truth that I see is that you're finally where you belong, degenerate. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. Oh, don't you I'll worry. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I, got some I hope questions that you make own. the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. You threatening I me, have Bubba? No doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. I don't mind waterboarding you. Yeah, you walk away. That's right. Keep Mr. walking, buddy. Pierce, the truth seeker. Uh, hello. We meet at last. Uh, who's there? Uh, dude, if I was in prison and I heard a deep ass voice behind me, I'd be clenching my butt cheeks and putting them against the wall. Oh! Oh, swim! What the? What the cracky? Okay. What, what do I do? I am the one men named Leviathan. What the hell are you, bro? Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form. You a waterbender? As a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. Which what? I came to share with you, human. I got a question. If I like. Struggle, Dude, you got a huge you ass nose. Be able to speak. Or escape my influence. Um. Come again? Like, dude, if you're some kind of extraterrestrial that can choose your form inside of water, why would you have such a big ass nose? What should I? What? What should I do? Should I struggle? Should I try to speak? Submit. If I was in this situation, I would straight up tell him to kiss my ass, so I think I should speak? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh! I told you to behave. Don't tell me what to do, you're not my daddy. You are here to access the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an what? offer that the likes of you Particularly those with such rare characteristics cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Whose power? Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Is she hot? 
Like, if she's if she's a babe, I'd totally like to meet her. Let's put this in perspective. If she's a babe, all right, like full perspective. If this oracle is a super super babe, like I would be giving myself a disservice and everybody here, I would be granting everybody a disservice by not introducing us all to the babe. So we're gonna accept the knowledge. We're gonna accept Where it. Is, the is she not the very object of your quest? Yeah. I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. What? Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. How's my how my how's my fate already been written? That didn't even answer any of my questions! I get back here! You didn't even show me to the babe! You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you you may lose more than your life. Is she the babe? About me, but innocent lives. I hope that your source is reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler. Oh. Uh -huh. I knew it. No. Not again. Oh my God, dude. Dude. What? Am I Mrs. Hawk? I'm the babe? Algernon, come back! Okay! Okay! I'm okay with being a babe for a minute. Do I get to keep my, my strength or... Is that not happening? And where did Drake go? Like, he just ran off. It is Algernon. And the Shambler. Hey, Algy! Hey, is that, is that Cat Baker over there? I'd know that booty anywhere. I'm thinking that's Cat Baker. Let's go see what she's up to. Maybe she's seen Algernon, Algie. No way back. Oh, well we're going, we don't need to go back cause uh, we're probably gonna end up dead. So don't, don't worry about going back anywhere. Like if we're being honest with ourselves, all right? I would like to at least have a fighting chance, so if I could maybe find a lantern that I could smash over the head of somebody, like we did your hubby, if that's a thing. Looks like somebody was having a, a spaghetti potluck dinner and uh, made another mess. That's not blood. No, 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 that's not blood. No. Why, why would that be blood? Oh, there's algae and Cat Baker and another dude hey you can't leave us sorry old friend but it's either you or me no. what Wait. no open 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 up open this door lady are you sure you want to do it let's go do you have a 200 Quickly, foot wingspan come with me. okay i'll follow you homie let's murder like this creature let's get her dead all right let, let listen algae me and you all right we may not be a thing all right but i will highly consider kissing you right on them big old smackers you got right there if you help me murder like this demon and avenge my baby boy okay one quick peck right on your pie hole if you help okay algae i need you. some oil 
I just wasted an entire lamp. Waiting. Shit. Is that oil? Oh, what are the odds that there'd be oil right there? Okay. Okay, algae. Um, baby. How do we kill it? Buddy. The shambler can open breaches between dimensions. Hmm? He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay, so listen, I'm not very keen on witchcraft, but if it helps me destroy this the demon, I'll, I'll make it exception. somewhere on the floor. Hello? Where did it appear? Find and destroy the first glyph? Is it right Find here? Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Uh, okay. How many are there? Where? This could be anywhere in these caves, man! Like, give me a hint, brother! Damn! Don't just be like, go find this stuff for me! The first glyph, he's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Uh, okay, so let's let's follow blood streaks. Would that be a thing? Find that symbol, Sarah. Okay. It to the light if you use your lamp. I'm looking. This is literally a gigantic cave. I could be searching for literally a day. Calm yourself. All right, check yourself before you wreck yourself, bro. Okay, where? If I was an interdimensional hieroglyph, the first help glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I heard you. Trust me, buddy, I heard you. I'm also trying to find it. There's a whole lot of floor here, man. Why don't you give me a better hint? Like to the left of those barrels. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Am I supposed to? Fine. I need some oil. Is this oil infinite? I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Yeah, you probably shouldn't because it got your kid killed, uh, a bunch of your buddies killed, and now we're trying to destroy the a demon because you painted it. Somewhere on the floor. Okay, I heard you the 42nd time you said it, buddy. It could be literally anywhere. I've looked all over these floors. Oh man, he's dead, dead. I need some oil. Find that symbol, Sarah. Yeah, I found some. I found some oil. Calm down. I'm looking. This isn't the easiest process. All right, there's a lot of guesswork. Look, you see, this is the summoning circle. So I imagine it will glow green when, when I find it. And I'm looking at the floor, just like you told me to, and I find no green stuffs. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. <sighs> Something tells me this I is gonna be a oil. very, very long and arduous process. And I'm probably gonna end up uh, using Google because this is not the first time in this game where you had a super the first glyph difficult task with no idea how to complete it. Like this homie, this guy keeps yelling, it must be on the floor. Well, I've looked everywhere across every, there it is. The glyph. Oh, I, I found it. it. Is it acting against me? I'm sorry, I doubted you. Is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The Wanderer is back. Hey! In the circle! Get in the 
circle! Make it to the circle! I'm safe here, right? <laughs> sucker! The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Where is he? He's it? getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. So where's the second circle? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Okay, uh, ah! Uh-huh. The there it is. Let's press on. Look at that. Ah! You want some of this? You want some of this? Oh! Ah! You want some of this? Yeah! Taste the light, baby! Taste the light! Ride the lightning! Not the lightning, the light! Oh! Woo! There, yeah, come on! You want a piece of this? You want a piece of this booty, don't you? But you can't have none! You started me, my friend. I have the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. And the Shambler... The symbol it, must be here somewhere. I know, because I just found it, but I that forgot where I just ran from. All right, calm down, homie. I, I found it a second ago. I just don't remember where I found it at because I had to run away. Because it apparently figured out where we're going with this. Wasn't on the. It was on the. Must have appeared. Let's press on. Boy, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna take your glasses off, smash them on the ground, make a shiv out of them, and make you shut up. Please. I heard you. The first 37 times. Or, that is what I'm doing. I am not playing with you. We are both adults. I do not want to have to flip out. I don't remember where it is though. Over here, maybe? The second glyph must have appeared. Oil. Let's press on. Boy. Don't make me hurt you. I could have. How does these hallways keep disappearing? Like, am, am I high? Or are these, or are these areas I find the once disappearing immediately Look, after I find that them? That is what I'm doing. Like here. There it is. Okay, I found it. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. You're supposed to make sure that doesn't happen. You're supposed to protect. Holy shit! It was right there! Oh! Oh! I'm almost out of oil! Check the oil! Check engine light! Check engine light! Low on oil! Low on oil! Get in the hieroglyph! Aha! Can't come in here, can you, buddy? Hey, we gotta find one more. Now is when matters get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? But we gotta find the third Once lift. it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Have I not been doing that? I thought I was doing that the whole time. Was I wrong in thinking that? Now, if I was the third and final hieroglyph, only one glyph left to find. Where would I be hiding? Iro hiding. Where would you be if you were a third hieroglyph? That's the real question. I don't know where I would be. I'm sure of it. I, I I know you're sure of it, bud. Because I've already found two. I just don't know where to look. I feel like it'd be in a complicated spot, probably. 
to ensure that tracking the demon to him would be harder. But I think it's right there. I think I found it. I did, baby. It did not let me move. It didn't let me move. I didn't do that. I promise you it I froze. There, I could not move. Oh no. Was I supposed to keep the light on? Bring him towards me. Where's the paint? Okay. Use the painting. Okay, I got it. Oh, that was creepy. What do I do? Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Let there be light. It's over. Now, can we destroy the painting? I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. What are you doing? It's too late. What are you doing? We must resist. No! Please. We're not going in that painting! I forbid it! I hold the sticks! I make the choices! Did we go in the- what did we just do? Hello? Algernon? Edward? Someone? Anyone? Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Why Damn did it. she do what? Hey, you! Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let oh, I loved it. Here. I'm gonna I'm give you a five star rating. I want a short and clear cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before? I admit that you're an asshole. You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. Mm. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Oh, well, I'll be stupid. nice and warm. Don't I got something understand. real nice and warm for you right here, buddy. Right here. Those goddamn idiots. Exactly what I was thinking. So, if I was going to escape a prison... And I didn't have the common courtesy of a key in my prison wallet. What would I do? I would take this. And with the proper leverage, I would spring these half barrel hinges. And spring myself free. Just like in Pirates of the Caribbean. But honestly, I'd probably just take a nap and wait for them to get back. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. A little bit of a nappy, a nap, nap, napperoo. Uh, what the hell? Hey, buddy. How's I going? Levy Ethan. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. 
Okay, As your well. mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world. Personal space, your dude. Perceptions change. Black up. I don't want to strike you. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Listen, if you don't back up, your nose is about to be twice the size it was before you walked in here because it's going to be swelled the hell up. And all of these random gibberish Atlantean phrases, I'm just going to pick it random because I can't read Atlantean. Follow the path of the ultimate truth. What did I choose? Oh, hey, thank you, Mr. Leviathan, for opening the door for me. Oh, I'm still underwater. That's weird. Am I running underwater? I thought you were looking for some stuff, Detective. Fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. I mean, I know she knows about the Shambler, so is she part of the cult? Me, buddies. The villagers. Me. We're all in danger. As long as you're alive. Oh, what? No! I just watched my own brain get shot through the back side of my skull. Holy shit. I can't go to sleep. Keep having the same dream. Or should I say nightmare? The pain in my chest is as if I was being skewered. Heartless. Yeah, because you got killed earlier. And the voice whispers in my mind. I keep hearing it, and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Uh, okay. Like, what do you mean, resist? Like, what kind of urges are you resisting there, uh, Officer Bradley? Why are you calling me that? I still can't decide if fear or fear or liberation. Definitely liberation. I'm all about liberating my my women's. May have been hidden for both of us. But I will fight for what is right. Uh when you were fighting for what is right, was that before you murdered your husband or after? Like, I don't mind, because now it just means that you're recently single and ready to mingle, but I'm also kind of worried that you might try and uh, murder like me later down the road, so I don't want to know now. I should be packing heat. I still don't know what that is. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear the what these two agents have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And Whoa. left his body in one of our warehouses. Damn! You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? Both? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Listen here, all right? I'm about five seconds away from shoving frozen fish sticks down your throat until you suffocate. If you don't answer me, I'm in a bad mood. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. Do I look like if I'm kidding you? If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No. And speak. Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Uh, noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Who? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. 
Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Yeah, what about it? Hey, Mr. Fish Dicks man, how you doing? Yeah. And you too. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. Did one of you do the murder lighting? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Damn. He's a pretty good henchman. If I do say so myself. Actually, I'd like that guy with Quieten the goatee and the wrench. Before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Unless, of course, I'm the liquor sponge. Let's examine said corpse. There's uh, blood. So if I follow the, the blood, I mean tomato sauce. Here we are. I can find out are. what happened. Okay, so yeah, uh, I see that this is the right place to go. Uh, but where is said dead guy? I don't see a body. I see blood. Here we are. Here we are. Anybody else see a body? Because I sure as heck do not see a body. See multiple blood trails. Oh, this way. I, oh, oh, I gotta pick this lock. Is there something in here? Oh, yes, I have found, I have found the dead body. Let's close that. Hey, you! If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. I'd have kind of believed it because he was a bit of an asshole. Like, it doesn't take rocket scientists to figure out that this guy had some enemies. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Probably in the big pool of blood outside. Not going to say I'm a master detective, we but... Came from here. Willing to bet that there's some more blood and some more blood, which means they're still getting dragged. More blood down the stairs. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And look, there's a massive pool of it right here, and another pool right here. So this is where West was killed. What's that? Uh, yeah. The, what is that? For real. What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? Ooh, a cultist did it. That's actually not a surprise. Oh my gosh, he's a full, he's a full-fledged member. He's got the face of the, the, the demon and everything. He wasn't alone. It was Davy Jones. Who were those guys? Good damn point. There's only one man who smokes these Gaspers. Fitzroy. Fitzroy's in on the cult? Really? You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. What's going on outside? Sarah Hawkins. Get back! Oh gosh, I gotta kill them all! No! Okay, okay, fine. That's fine. I'm completely fine with blowing their heads off. Let's go. Let's get wrecked, boy. I don't take prisoners. It's my body. Only I have the right to eat it. Okay, this aiming mechanism is horrible. Like, terrible. I can't aim down the sights. I just gotta guess where the bullet's gonna go. It only takes one shot, though, so I guess that's not too bad. Yeah, who's next? How many people do I have to murder late? Dominic, you got me? What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Damn it. You want some, too? You want some of this? You want some of the smoke? That's what I thought, boy. 
Pierce, wake up. What happened? What's up, homie? Take that weapon, you'll need it. What are you talking about? Yeah. What? No, no, no. Tell Don't me. Don't make me do it to him. My head. You're no. Into my head. No. Bradley. Not Officer Damn Bradley. It. Pull yourself together. Please, no. You got me. No, no, no. I can't resist any longer. No. You're stronger than that. You've been working Hold on, since brother. I arrived here. I know you can overcome. Please. It's too late. I lost Sarah. Who cares Hawkins. about Sarah? What? Rose before Rose. I was unable to stop her. Rose before Rose. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. He came back alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later that they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. The what? Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce. Into no, one no. of those things. I will not shoot him. No, keep fighting. No, Bradley. I'm not shooting Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. I'm not shooting you, brother. Do it. I'm not doing Kill it. Kill me. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. No. Enough killing. Idiot. No. No. Now go. No. You imbecile. No. No. Except for Edward Leslie Pierce, who's beating your ass right now. Oh. Oh my gosh! Somebody get this man a WWE contract! He's the best thing that happened since the big show! 